Hey guys, so there's just two little interesting tech news items that I wanted to talk about. The first one is going to be regarding the new NVIDIA GPUs that are slated to be released. We're thinking this year. NVIDIA just announced that their GTC conference that they usually hold an event for is going to be held online. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And secondly, let's continue to talk about CPUs, Intel. What's going on with Intel? I haven't seen any of the new X299 processors. Did they just simply give up? So let's talk about it now. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you like my content, subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. All right guys, so the other day we spoke about the current worldwide event and how it's affecting all sorts of technology conferences. They're canceling them like left and right. Even if they're not being canceled, big players are pulling out of the ones that are still going on. Recently, Nvidia just announced that their GTC conference, which is a very popular conference for them. It's where they can announce the new GPU that we're getting this year, we're hoping. They announced that it's going to be completely online and their CEO is going to give the keynote speech online as well. This doesn't make that big of a difference in my opinion because only a limited number of people and press would be able to attend the actual event anyway. It's not like it's a Super Bowl or something like that. Generally, most people are going to get their information online, so I'm more than fine with NVIDIA still having this conference online. I understand for certain conferences, maybe like Computex or even CES, you can't really do it online just because it's actual products that people want to see. It's thousands of products in the case of CES that people want to physically see, like 8K TVs and robots. Those type of things just don't translate as well online. But the GTC conference that NVIDIA is going to be doing with their CEO doing the keynote is easily done online because all we really need is some snazzy words and some pictures of the 3000 series GPU. Let's see that beefy 380 Ti. That's all we really need and some nice B-roll video of that. We don't have to see it in person yet. We can wait a few months if that's what it means. So in general, I think it's good that they're at least holding it and it hasn't been completely canceled because if they had canceled even an online version, it would mean that their supply chain and manufacturing process has been a bit impacted by this. So thankfully, I don't think it's gotten to that point yet. While things have definitely slowed down recently and there have been issues, I think it's still certainly looking up and looking better. So I'm looking forward to this GTC conference. Let's see if Nvidia finally announces the 3080, 3080 Ti and the other 3000 series GPUs. The second bit of tech news I wanted to touch on, it's going to be a little bit with my own personal experience sort of looking in the marketplace. Intel seems to have disappeared a bit. We spoke about this as well previously. AMD has completely and rightfully so dominated the market. Their Ryzen and Threadripper CPUs beat Intel handedly in terms of price to performance, and now even in pure performance. Generally, Intel used to have the high-end enthusiast market as nobody else was competing there, but now with AMD's 3950X and their Threadripper processors, they dominate even that space. I was hoping that Intel was going to have a stronger response to this, but, but it seems like they're almost disappearing. For example, for years and years when I would check my local micro center, they would always have a healthy number of Intel high-end CPUs. Back in X299, they would have the 6800K, 6950X, the 10-core processor. They always had them in stock, as well as the 7980XE, even the 9980XE, the 9940X, etc. from previous generations. Now, it seems like they did get a couple of the newer Intel 10th generation CPUs, but after selling out of the couple that they did get, I think they got very low numbers because they figured nobody's really buying them because AMD has just dominated this market. I haven't really seen them restock them at all. And I even checked online at all the different micro center locations. I've even checked other online computer sellers and the few that do have some of these 10th series X299 high end processors in stock generally are at some inflated prices and they don't have very many of them, but most places it's just not available. So I don't think Intel has really released these to the public in any significant numbers. Now, be it that to some type of chip shortages, 
or more likely they knew they didn't want to manufacture too many because simply it didn't make sense for most consumers to buy these considering how well priced Ryzen CPUs have become. For example, right now my local Micro Center has the Ryzen 3900X for $399 and you still get an additional discount if you pair it with a motherboard, but $400 for a 12 core CPU. Intel is not going to come anywhere near that. The 10 920X is literally a $700 plus dollar CPU. So we're talking about a significant price difference here for not really any significant performance gains because the 3900X performs just as well as the Intel processors. So considering the 3950X is priced now at $699 at the Roku Micro Center, which is even cheaper than the MSRP of $749 or whatever price it was when it first came out, that CPU's even almost equaling the Intel 18 core processor, which costs around $1,000. So in a way, it kind of makes sense that there aren't too many of these X299 CPUs on the market. They're not bad CPUs by themselves, but when combined with the competition from AMD, their price just doesn't make any sense. They would have to literally be probably a few hundred dollars cheaper for them to make sense, but Intel is not really lowering their price any more than they have done so already. Remember, the 18 core processor used to be $2,000 last generation and they dropped it down to a thousand but it just hasn't been enough to persuade people to buy them over the AMD processors. Now, the ones that I did see in stock have been sold out, so people are buying them. Of course, they're always gonna be Intel fans. And like I said, they're not bad processors. I have some myself, I have AMD processors, so nothing wrong with them at all. In fact, it's a pretty mature motherboard and CPU system, meaning they're likely to have less issues, especially for workstation users that have used Intel for a long time. X299 has been out for a few years now, so most of the platform is pretty mature. So that's definitely a plus to go with Intel but in general AMD is continually dominating the market even in stock at Micro Center you'll see that they're mostly AMD CPUs now even mainstream Intel has dwindled down to some of the more popular ones there used to be a much larger selection but I guess it doesn't make sense for stores to stock them as much because they just haven't been selling now we're going to see if the 10th generation changes anything but I have a feeling that AMD is going to maintain this lead for a while now just because 10th generation Intel comes out even if the the 10 core is priced pretty well and performs great. AMD has such a lead now that their 4000 series Ryzen processors are just going to step in and steal whatever thunder the Intel processors have. This cycle will probably eventually continue for a while until Intel really produces something of great significance and a great performance gain. And if they can outshine AMD in that manner while keeping the price low, I predict that's the only time we're really going to see it swap back to Intel being in first place. But for now, AMD should enjoy their first place success and they're putting out really great products at great prices and us as a consumers are very thankful for that. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to comment below. Have you taken a look at some of these X299 processors? Or are you strictly just getting AMD now? And I'll see you guys on the next video.